are really good um, candidates. You think that's the best? I think that's the best solution right now. Um, I think it could, if there's enough interest, I think it could grow into a workshop. And that's what I, I don't want to, now that I realize it, I can't just start a work, workshop there's, if there's no interest in it. I, I, think, I think we could with the open mic. I mean, we can do whatever we want. It's just, do we want and why? And well, the, is there enough people that are, will actually come to it and say, I want to be a part of this? And I want to be a community thing, not what can I, what, how can you help me? Um, how can you help me get in better gigs? I want people to help each other and elevate each other. And that's what, that's, what, that's what we did back home, is not fight for gigs, like, oh, you know, like, talk down to people and say, oh, I'm better than you and stuff like that. We helped each other make, well, well I realized at the end of, when I, when I left these guys, there was 10, uh, there was about 10 places that had, you know, uh, that were 10 restaurants and bars that were open to live music. When I talked to the class, there was over 25 places I opened up. So you think... Town. So what, what I've realized is how many people, as far as like music, musicians go and whatever, that um, it'll, it'll expand. Here's my question. This is, uh -huh. this is what we talked about when we first really talked about this seriously. In Las Vegas, there's already 50 places. Mm -hmm. There's already 50 places willing to pay, you know, minimal amounts of money for artists, and there's artists willing to play those places. How do you convince artists to grow and get better when there's places willing to pay them as they are now? Um, because what happens is, okay, when I started playing, I'd play a gig for $60. That would be a three-hour um, gig. A three-hour gig. That's Better wage than working at you know exactly. Starbucks or something. But eventually, the next year I started playing gigs for fifty dollars an hour, so mm -hmm. I made hundred fifty dollars. And then um, after that, I made hundred dollars an hour. What changed with you? It's now I make two hundred dollars an hour. So I mean, well, that's what, what I that's what I mean is I became more confident in myself, I became more, see, what, yeah, I guess it, it's, it's just always a growing process. Um, it wasn't that, it's, I don't, I don't know, it's just what people started offering me and I was confident in saying, yes, this is what I, this is what I charge. Or this so is people what were I coming to you mm -hmm. with more money, you weren't just saying, I deserve more. Well, some places I did, like if I had played a, a, a restaurant and stuff um, for a while, and it was, you know, I was bringing people in for a while. I results. Was, if I was bringing in results, yeah. you know, I'd say, hey, can I get, you know, can I maybe, you know, that's when I started making $200 an hour instead of 150 or not $200, uh, $200 a night. Yeah. Um, you know, and they usually go for it. Yeah. All I had to do was ask. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, the results are going to speak for themselves and they're going to help you. Um, exactly. And so, you're right, all these different, all these 50 different restaurants, bars, or coffee shops are going to pay different amounts. Okay, well, we're going to start with what fits. Now, did you bring in, how did you bring in more people? Um, that's a good question. Just, I mean, word of mouth, um, no. Well, I think it just it just happened, you know. It wasn't like. Did you get better? I guess my point is, did you get better? I was better over time. Exactly, I was better over time. That's that's the thing, because when you start getting better over time, people recognize that they come out. They say, "Hey, you got to see this guy, Daniel. I mean, he's great. You know, he does all this stuff." Um, and then they come out and they tell their friends and that kind of thing. You know, if you're the same, if you're stagnant and you haven't had any growth in a year or so. Exactly. You know, you can tell when people aren't coming to your shows, and if it's if it's your same friends coming to every show, you better start looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. But this is what I'm this is what I'm getting at is I've been able to do the pay raise every year mm. in on my hourly wage. Mm. But and 
this is the pro this is not the problem. This is the exciting part. Is there's no cap. Nobody's going to tell you how much you can't make. I know guys on a uh, the guys I was in a band with were doing um, conventions and national conventions. Mm -hmm. You're I mean thousands to, to ten thousand you know a night. Mm -hmm. You know it's not unheard of. And so they were able to score just a couple of these a year and then be comfortable and do their own stuff the rest of the year. Yep. Um, there, if, you're, if, you, if you grow and you are that talented, you know, the market's there for you. But you have to grow <coughs> into it. You can't just say, I'm going to, um, oh, Mike's going to get me that next $1,000 gig. All right. You have to be, you, you got to have to yourself. grow yourself. You grow, yeah. And so what you would like to do is to grow artists. You would like yes, to I would like to grow them into... Yeah, you can't just start off getting these amazing casino gigs. You have to grow into it. Because mm. everyone says they're ready. You just got to put me on that stage. But yeah, no, they're not. They're not <laughs> okay. um, so how are you going to help grow um, the artists? Well, it would be kind of like a, a... What I did is a lot of them would have questions, you know, like, oh, how do I do... It? You know, any any sort of, like dilemma they have in, you know, in their mind, I think I've probably been there before, You're doing exactly the same, mm -hmm. asking myself the same questions. But don't you need, uh, that for you then, don't you need an artist willing to ask those questions? Yeah, yeah, um, no, 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 I mean like the artists will have questions, definitely, you know. Like, but what I'm saying is they need to be the kind of artist that has those questions, not just yes. think it's all they're ready, you know, so to speak. Um, and so, for me to help somebody out, they need to be willing to say, like, help me. You know? right. Like, I want this. You know? Okay. So, I can't teach anybody that thinks they know everything. Um, you can't teach a, you can't fill a cup that's already full. Right, that's right. So, right. so, okay. Um, I'm still, I'm still learning every day. And that's the whole, pur that's the whole purpose of it purpose of this is to change the philosophy. And so what would, would, just an example though, what would be your first thing, you know, all right, my name, all right, no, let's use me, let's use me, let's use me. You saw me perform. And let's mm -hmm. imagine that was my shtick and I wanted to do that. Let's mm -hmm. say I wanted to do acoustic, you know, rap songs. Not even rap songs. Whatever it is. What I would say is, okay, next week I want to, I want to see one new song that you've memorized mm -hmm. and that you that haven't heard before. Okay. 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 And then um, by the end of the year, I want to we want to put together a showcase for you. What do you mean by the end of end of the year? Do you mean well, the end of this year, or do you mean after the end of one year? No. Do you okay. mean at the end of two months? It just depends. It's some everybody goes at their own pace. Yeah. Some people are if they're fired up, they'll learn two or three songs a week. Oh yeah. You know, I like to put myself on a on a one. Because I, you know, I'm doing all kinds of stuff, and mm -hmm. I already know a bunch of songs. Plus, you sometimes know at the back, yeah, you yeah. know your songs very well. Yes. You know, and on top of that, I've seen your videos. You know all the parts of your songs. You know, yeah. you're doing a little more production than just me and bang on the acoustic. You know. Yeah. So everybody's different in that way, like. But I say everybody can learn at least one new song, lyrics memorized. Memorized. And that's the difference. Is I don't want to see this iPad reading or or. Um, Why not? Lyrics reading. So, do you see any professional musicians reading lyrics? Does it look bad to the casinos or any other book? No, people do it all the time. Yeah, I, but you just hold I, yourself to a higher standard? I have a higher standard. I think anybody that, that's doing what I'm doing needs to have that high standard. Oh, okay. Um, that's true. I mean, I've been in bands and it's looked sloppy when we've had to read from the sheet music. It's not hard to memorize lyrics. You have to put the time into it. And anybody can do it. Lyrics are the easiest thing to memorize because they, they flow, right? They, <laughs> they do. Honestly, like, I and they have repeat. A hard time. <laughs> Choruses repeat. I have a hard time memorizing lyrics. It yeah. takes. It just takes time. Yeah. But you can do it while you're in your car. You can do it while you're in the shop. It's not. You have. All you have to do is just keep on memorizing. It's okay. On a daily basis, and that's what I mean. Is like, a lot of people are like, oh, when is this guy gonna call me to get this awesome gig? But with realize all they need to do is write write some lyrics today. Just do little things like mm -hmm. write part of a song today. Or memorize a cover that, that you want to learn today. So you what I guess what you're telling me is 
I can't come to you and say, hey, I want to be in the casinos in two weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that won't happen. And this is this that's the kicker. I want to get people that are in this for the long haul. So you're saying, hey, not two weeks. Give it six months to a year. Yep. And we'll talk. Mm -hmm. That's what. So you everybody that I've mentored and that has done that. I've started mentoring other people, but some of them couldn't couldn't hack it. It's just how it is. Mm. So you'll see people rise above these other people, and these they become leaders. And mm -hmm. then other people will see that, and then and then they go, oh, I see now. And then you know, and then these new people will mentor these other people, and then those people will mentor these other people, and hopefully it just becomes a floodgate of people that that are amazing artists that have very high standards for themselves. And, That's uh, what I mean. and for me, I would like that. I would like to elevate the quality of the scene. You know, I was I telling. I think that's the biggest thing is to elevate the quality. I see yeah. so many, so many uh, casino musicians that have iPads, and there's there's nothing wrong with it. But I think um, if you want, if you consider yourself a professional musician, you have to memorize lyrics. That's funny. That's good. That's a good point. Um, so okay, so I, I got all right, man. I've been working hard. I have a high standard. It's been eight months for me. I've been working hard. I got some great R and B. I've added some R and B to the hip hop. A lot of people really dig so, it. So like, a, you know, from the mentorship side, like I have a connection with you. You trust me yeah. and say, hey, I have this guy that, um, you know, that has been doing really well. Can you make a video? Of, can Can I have him come on your show? I'll also go. To, I'll also go to Will Edwards. Hey. This guy I've seen once oh, and well, well, exactly. I'll take and then I go to you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's the connection with the mentor. The mentor will say, Hey, I think you're ready for this or I, I wanna help you out with this. And All so right. Well now you're talking with me. I'm talking with you. I'm talking to uh, Rick Duarte about his um, Why is what he why is why is that that's a step. It's a step before um, Explain to me the value and, and uh, 